Hey everybody, it's Brooke. I am back. It is time for Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 3 Episode 15. We will be watching that today if you would like to see the uncut reaction to this episode as well as uncut reactions to episodes 16 and 17. You can check out my Patreon linked in the description. We're always ahead over there. Um, we are... This episode is, like, not officially a part two to the previous episode, but I was told by people that they're very related and people kind of see them as two parts. Uh, so I'm excited to kind of see, uh, last time we had, it was like, so the new Watcher showed up, followed by... Buffy being annoyed by that and she was hanging out more with Faith so she started to kind of fight like Faith and like slay like Faith and they were getting along better but we were kind of seeing Buffy not act like herself. Uh, there was a demon called Balthasar that was looking for an amulet. Uh, Buffy and Faith were able to secure that amulet um, and they ended up giving it to Angel eventually for safekeeping over the new Watcher guy who nobody trusts because he's basically, like, baby's first Watcher. <laughs> uh, he trusts everything, all the knowledge he's learned and doesn't believe he's wrong about anything and he doesn't really understand how to deal with people. He's closer to the Giles we originally met, but not as cool. Um, they did beat the demon, but the mayor is also up to something. Uh, and it seems like whatever demon the mayor is trying to do something with was, like, against Balthazar. Because he was like, you're going to regret killing me. Um, which is interesting. And so the mayor did some kind of magic. And we saw, like, his head get split in half with a sword and then go floop, right back together. Uh, which is fucking crazy. Um... It was just wild. And then he said, okay, so now we have, I can't be injured for a hundred days until the ascension. So I'm guessing that has to do with this other demon and like summoning him. Uh, my guess right now is that he's going to put him in his own body and that's why his body needs to be indestructible. Uh, but it could change. I'm not sure. Uh, so Buffy and all them definitely don't know about the mayor stuff. Faith accidentally killed Alan, who was, like, the assistant to the mayor guy. If you remember the guy who was always, like, freaked out by what the mayor was doing. That guy. She went back and got rid of his body. We don't know if she, like, found something related to the mayor on it or not, though. Uh, but her and Buffy are kind of not on the same page right now. Because Buffy was there when Faith accidentally killed an actual human. And Faith says she doesn't care. I don't believe that. Uh, and Buffy believes Faith when she says she doesn't care and she doesn't feel like that's right. So I think that story is going to continue into this episode. Uh, and probably whatever the mayor is up to, we'll find out more about it, which I'm excited. Because I forgot, like, yeah, him and Trick are both really, like, compelling villains. So when they came back in, I was like, okay, yeah, let's do this. Um, and I'm excited to see where this goes. I'm... I guess it's going to be a demon summoning thing. But obviously it's not the same demon from last season. And I'm wondering what the plan is. Like, do they want to destroy the world? Does he think the demon is going to give him, like, supreme power? Uh, we don't really know the end goal of summoning it yet. We just know we have, like, a hundred days until it happens. Or something called the Ascension happens. So... With only a hundred days in Sunnydale time, we gotta dive right into episode 15. Let's do this. Make sure, if you'd like to support the channel, you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment when we finish and let me know what you thought of the episode. Alright, let's go. Water again. Is Wentworth Miller back? <laughs> Guilt. It's hard with that guy because he was helping the mayor do bad stuff, but he was also just an employee and we don't know how much choice he has. Buffy also does have bad experiences with drowning. Oh, they found the body. That citizens alike were shocked when the slain man was identified as Deputy Mayor Alan Finch. 
Oh, now the mayor's gonna look like the good guy. Until whoever did this is found and brought to justice. Thank you. I want you to look into this. Find out everything uh, you can. Somehow about the I talked about him and yet forgot how annoying he was. But that's I mean that's that's not really our jurisdiction. I say it merits investigation. Which I'm sure the police are doing. In the meantime, if you ask me, there are better uses for the slaves. Like, ah, but I don't believe I did. Don't let me interrupt. Queen. Wait, let me interrupt. I'm in a hurry. What did you need? A psych class. Freud and Young, book me. Uh, don't look at her that way. She's a student. Does everybody know about you? She's a friend. Let's not exaggerate. <laughs> it's like, well... So, you're the new watcher. I'm Cordelia. And you teach psychology. I take no. psychology. She's a student. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, yes. He's like, oh, never mind. Welcome to Sunnydale. Oh, she's so pretty. Me. My. She spoke to me in real life. Dead. She's... Cheeky, isn't she? Off to patrol, so we'll see ya. One moment, girls. I'm your commander now. And God. on the matter of this murder, I'm resolved. I can't pretend to investigate this. I can't pretend that I don't know. Oh, I see, but you can pretend that Angel's still dead when you need to protect him. Faith, what we did was Yeah, it? we. You were right there beside me when he Yeah, but she down. didn't stab anybody. Anything I have to answer for, you do too. I feel like she should tell Giles. He would know what to do. Actually, oh god. Um, you go ahead. I'm late. Well, no, she's coming to you because you're her friend. So she didn't want you to go to one hunt and you're like pissed. I don't know. It's a little see. weird. I know she's jealous of fate for sure. Uh, don't lead the witness. Oh, I wonder if he'll think Buffy did it and he'll try to cover for her somehow. Because I don't think he'd cover for Faith, but he'd cover for Buffy. Okay. Okay, but paper shredders are working. satisfying. It's supposed to do something besides shred? It's supposed to cheer me up. It's to turn my frown upside down. I just no, don't understand why Alan down. would leave such a paper trail about our dealings. What is it? Bombshell. Oh, so Faith probably the deputy did take mayor the stuff. Had wooden splinters in his wound. Struck right through the heart with a sharp pointed up. What do you think he talked to them? If he did, I'm thinking he said the wrong thing. Yeah, I think if he told them they well, wouldn't have killed him. It was an accident. This is exciting. This guy was about as interesting as watching. Oh, Pete this drive. is his office. Hey. Choking. Let's just blow. Who cares what this guy was about? It's kind of moot now, don't you think? I don't think he was in that alley by chance. So what, you think there's some big conspiracy? You were saying... All his stuff is so gone. His papers are gone. Oh? Get as many men on it as you can. Well, now at least they know the mayor's working with a vampire. It doesn't matter what kind of vibe you get off a person, because nine times out of ten, the face they're showing you is not the real one. It's just look at you, Faith. Less than 24 hours ago, you killed a man. I, and now it's She's all zippity She's compartmentalizing. It's not your real face, and I know it. You're out. Is there going to be an intermission in this? Faith, maybe have a little just let me talk honesty. to Giles, okay? I swear. No, we're not bringing anybody else into this. You just live with it? You see the dead guy in your head every day for the rest of your life? I missed the mark last night, and I'm sorry about the guy. I really am. But it happens. We help people. It doesn't mean we can do whatever we want. Why not? The guy offers no Gandhi. I mean, we just saw he was mixed up in dirty deal. We're warriors. We were built to kill. That doesn't give you the right to, like, kill whoever you want. That does not mean that we get to pass judgment on people like we're better than everybody we else. We are better. They are either setting Faith up for a redemption arc or death. <laughs> Maybe you can explain to me what a girl your age is doing out on. Uh, I was hanging out with my boyfriend. Just hanging. Because I got a couple of witnesses who put you near the alley. Witnesses? Is that it? I'm kind of beat. They're yeah, like taught to lie to you. But oh, which well, one's going to crack for... Call me if you remember anything. Faith better not sell her out and make it seem like Bobby did it. I think Angel probably figured out Faith did it. He knows Buffy. That's not her vibe. Hey. 
Hey. It's this whole slayers only attitude. Hey. Hello. Since when would I love I understand? you, but her thing is super y serious. You talk to me about everything. <laughs> well, she's oh. literally crying. Oh, Buffy. Don't cry. I I'm sorry. Oh, I'm in trouble. And Faith acts like she doesn't even care. The way she talks, it's like she didn't even make a mistake. You have to go to Giles, Buffy. Yeah, don't get get any rub. Uh, I don't really know how to say this, but uh, she came. She felt bad too. But um. Oh my God! Hate to know what you did. You are I not did. gonna fucking blame her. I swear. If I'm pausing it, he better not. If Giles fucking believes Faith over Buffy about who did this, I'm gonna be so pissed. Bro, you are already on thin ice for that fucking birthday shit. Guys, that would be a hundred percent them just writing for plot if he doesn't believe Buffy. Giles, no. Are you? Faith, I've talked to you in the morning. He better be fucking joking. No. He better be fucking joking. To get Faith out of there, I swear to God, I swear to God. You better go in there and tell her you believe her. Giles, I didn't do this. <coughs> I swear. Sorry. Look, I know that I messed up badly. Faith, I know. Oh, thank fucking God. I was like, guys, I will blow a gasket. She may have many talents, Buffy, but fortunately lying is not one of them. I needed her to think that I was on her side. I don't know how far she'll take this charade. Try far. We both thought it was a vampire. I, I only realized it a second before. Buffy, this is not the first time something like this has happened. Yeah, Faith it's doesn't not... think. The Slayer is on the front line of a nightly war. I have no plan to involve them. I mean, it's the last thing Faith needs at the moment. So, so then we, we just have to help her deal, right? She's in denial. There is no help for her until she admits what happened. Oh, Xander's seen a different side of her. In the meantime. No one else is to know. Extremely delicate. Oh, never. Do you have the now. best hearing in the fucking world? Yes, hello. Mr. Travers, please. Quentin oh, Travers. Oh, God. Wesley Wyndham Price calling. We should all talk to Faith together. You mean, like that intervention thing you guys did yeah, on me? Yeah, that didn't end well. As I recall, Xander not nearly came to blows. No, Faith is too defensive for a confrontation like that. She'd respond better to a one-on-one -on -one approach. Let's rephrase. I think she might listen to me. We kind of have, um, a connection recently, and she seemed to be, um, responsive. When did you guys hang out? Oh, she was fighting one of those, uh, apocalypse demon things. Mm, not extensively. Not exactly. Then why would you... <laughs> and it registered in oh. her brain. She doesn't take the guys that she has a connection with very seriously. Why would I be offended by that? However, if you, you still want to be of assistance, uh, I, I need some help with research. What? Willow, you can't oh, be upset yeah, about Xander having sex with someone. We're past Good. this. I'm not going back. Yeah. We need I'm to not take going a harder look at him. He's, 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 um... I guess you can't help how you feel, but this, she got to be all mixed up in there. Oh, okay. Guess who's behind the door time. What if it's Angel, because he's been following her around? I was incorrect. It's Xander. What? Boring. Can I come in? Okay. Just to talk, I promise. Like you could make something happen if I didn't want it to? I heard about what happened, and I thought you might need a friend. So then go talk to Buffy. She's the one who killed a guy. That you're, um, like a wild thing, and half the time, you don't know what you're doing. And you're living proof of that, aren't you? It. I know what this is all about. You just came by here because you want another taste, don't you? No. I mean, it was nice. But not now. You're not in a good place, huh? Not like this. Well, like how, then? OK, he feel is not interested. It's just skin. No, not OK the other way around. I don't like Xander. This is not OK. <laughs> Thank God Angel's stalking her ass. Finally decided to tie me up, huh? 
I always knew you weren't really a you one slayer guy. Tried to Sorry kill someone. Oh, and he forgot you the safety word. Literally. Is that it? Almost killed it. Safety words are for wusses. No. Healthy you're boundaries. Not being on trust games now, are you, Faith? I'm not getting You made me older. have to be on Sanders' side. That's unforgivable. Mm. How's she doing? Oh, it's like talking to a wall. Only you get more from a wall. Well, this could take a while, right? So I'll just go to Faith's and I'll get some of her stuff. She may not want us to help her. She does. She just doesn't know how to say it. Maybe she killed a man. She's got a taste for it now. Yeah, she likes it. With the slayers see us in the hall together, thick as thieves. Oh, now oh, they wait, know that they know, but they don't know they worse, know they know. Now they know it. You better think of it soon. Drama. What it's like to take a life, feel a future, a world of possibilities, snuffed out by your own hand. Yeah, Bizarre. I didn't want to believe she liked it, but what she did to like Xander was me. really fucked up. Yeah. Sounds like you need some help. I prefer My human heart. Goody for you. It's like a party. Let's get on with it. Hey, you've tasted something few ever do. You're not much more than a child. Ooh, Going down this out. path will ruin you. I, he's sitting so close to her. I know she can't, but like here. what she does. But what she kills him. And I found out that there are other types of people. They keep caring. Keep trying. You don't have to disappear into the darkness. What's that? Ah! Honey, they are not going to help you. What? By the order of the Watchers Council of Britain. I mean, I guess we're just lucky they didn't fucking stake his ass. Please believe, nobody is rushing to judgment. The first priority of both myself and the council is to help you. I have to disagree with you on that one. Now unlock these or I'll pop this guy's head like a grape. I'm surprised he's not letting her pop his head like a grape. Wouldn't there be like order? It was the new watcher. He had a couple of guys helping him. So we had him up at the airport and stop him. Can I? I'm just wondering, why? What if she? I'm not the most people? objective. I know. I hate to say it, but maybe she belongs behind bars. It's She's hard, out of control. But I know. I don't think Willow's wrong. But Angel was getting somewhere with her. She was opening up. Yes, she escaped. It's good work. <laughs> Charles, First like to you're so her, useless. Put her back in the streets. Better find her before she does any more damage. We're gonna need to split up. I'll check the docks. It's probably where she is. You don't give up, do you? No, I'm your friend. <laughs> Not of my friends, no. It ain't gonna happen, B. Faith, nobody is asking you to be like me. But you can't go on like this. What bugs you is you know I'm right. You know in your gut. We don't need the law. We are the law. No, no. sweetie. I think you're yes. trying to convince yourself You know yourself exactly of what that. I'm about because you have it in you, too. You can't handle watching me live in my own way, having a blast because it tempts you. You know it could be. You're mean. not having a blast. Oh, smack. I feel we should have done the buddy system. That didn't shatter her fucking bones. How many people are getting choked out this episode? I hear once you've tasted a slayer, you never want to go back. Okay. Oh. Mm, that makes the mayor a little weaker. So she saved you. She could have left me there to die, Giles, but she didn't. She still has a lot to face before she can put this behind her. Yeah, that's not gonna so give up complicated. On her. Uh, why do I think she's gonna get better, like, and realize her mistakes and then die? I don't trust the show. Oh, fuck. You sent your boy to kill me. I guess that means you have a job opening. I take back my her getting better statement. I do not take my back. She might die. 
Oh, Faith, why are you like this? Well, we know why. She's got a lot of issues. <laughs> um, oh, God, those are two very good episodes to set up, like, something bigger. Um, Faith has always been a little wild, but I guess I like... It's hard. Okay, I don't like that she killed someone and is turning evil. I do like... That she's getting more of her own storyline. Because, like, for a while they kind of just were like, Oh, Faith's just, like, not here for this episode or whatever. Um, and it felt like they didn't really know what to do with her character at first. Uh, but I like that she's becoming more involved in the main plot. And uh, I think it'll be really interesting. Because it does almost even out the sides a little more of, like, He's got a Slayer, Buffy. Like, he... Like, I don't know if the mayor, even with being invincible, can fight. So, to have someone on his side who can, like, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Buffy does make that, like, way higher stakes. Uh, that there is someone who could potentially beat her in that situation. Um, it was nice to see Angel being helpful. He, like, immediately found out that a... Slayer did it, knew it was Faith, and started following her, which, lucky for Xander, next time Xander talks shit on Angel, I'm gonna be pointing back to this. Uh, he saved your life. Um, I think Willow's emotional confusion actually does make a lot of sense. This might be me being like, I don't want her to have it! But, I mean, she did like Xander for so long, they had, like, that kind of a thing, and she does like Oz, but you can like someone and move on, but still, like, have... Like, I'm sure young Willow thought Xander and her, like, were the end game when she was younger. And so she thought they would do that together. And, like, even if you've moved past those thoughts, like, they might still be there and affect you. Um, it was really nice to see Buffy not give up on Faith this episode. Despite Faith maybe not deserving her loyalty. <laughs> um, Buffy, you can see, has really grown as a person and... Even when we saw her, like, be like, Cordelia is my friend. That's, like, huge growth for Buffy, who, like, kind of ignored her when she could. Um, also, new young Giles, Watcher, Wesley guy. Um, just, can you not hit on students? He is way younger than Giles. I'm sure he's not as much older than them. Uh, but you're still, like, they're in high school. No. <laughs> um, but... It was interesting to see him at the end to be like, I just want to help. I do wonder if this situation has kind of taught him that he can't rely on his books and the, uh, like, council's code for everything because real life's a lot more messy than planned out strategies. Uh, I don't know. But I'm interested to see if Faith truly goes evil or if maybe she works with the mayor to undercover to, like, or if she's doing it for real now, but turns on him and does the right thing in the end. It's, don't tell me, obviously, because it would be spoilers. My, just with the way the story is going and the way they write these, I could see her doing the right thing at the end, but it leading to her dying. I could see that. Because, like, it is kind of a way to wrap up her character and not have to punish her for this stuff and then deal with her coming back and stuff like that. So I could see that being a way they do it. Like if I was writing a story that actually might be an ending for Faith that makes sense. It doesn't mean we want it. Like we don't like when people die. It's sad. Unless they go full evil then like like Angel he got his soul back and he did all those bad things and I was still like crying that he died. Or was sent to hell dimension. Um, it's complicated. And I really like that about this show. I think the characters are well written. Even when they annoy you. It's because they're supposed to annoy you. Or if they make you sad. It's because they're supposed to. It all feels very deliberate. And natural at the same time. Um, so I think they do really great on that. And obviously all the actors. Like do a great job embodying their characters. And line delivery. And like. Making it feel really real. Even, like, when Buffy says some of her lines, like, wiggy and stuff, that I'm like, I don't think teens talk like that, <laughs> ever. Uh, it's, like, still, like, you're like, but that's Buffy. That's, like, her special thing. Um, and I think that's always really well done in this show. 
Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss when I upload episode 16. I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next time.